Hello, this is Mike. First thing I want to say is uh, about this uh, shooting here in Florida at the high school. Um, the, the, I don't understand why you'd want to get rid of weapons. Weapons don't kill people. It's people behind the weapons that kill people. Um, it just makes no sense even <laughs> think that the weapons had anything to do with it. I mean, I'm mournful for all them families that uh, suffered loss and the ones that were hurt. Uh, and also for the one that did it in the first place. I mean, I, I'll pray for him as well. Uh, from his background, from his short background he's had, he's, uh, you know, his parents died. His mother died in November from the flu. Uh, at, a, at a hospital. And I think it started there. I think it stemmed from there. I think the lack of compassion. I think uh, if uh, people, you know, re it, when he was reaching out, people would at least, you know, comfort him, soul him, take him underneath their wing, and try to help him out, help him through this. I mean, he was just a teen. He couldn't do anything. He got wrapped up with. Uh, uh, an undesirable group and, and uh, he was talked into doing heinous things and just he was angry to begin with so there you go the outcome is he went to the school and shot the people up oh uh, and you know it uh, it makes sense that they, uh, you'd have angry kids angry parents but you could be willing to to uh, forgive, you gotta forgive uh, in order to move on. Because uh, this kid's got a get chains wrapped around you because you won't forgive him. Release yourself from this, forgive him, and move on. Don't forget, but forgive him. Uh, and just pray that he uh, finds God and he uh, and uh, he can find forgiveness for himself. So, I mean, for that, I just thought I'd mention. But uh, this is uh, the beginning of Series 2. This is Tribulation. Um, Jesus mentioned Tribulation and then the Great Tribulation. And I'm just wondering if there was, like, maybe a post-Tribulation period after sorrows or as part of sorrows because he does say it in he does say it in Matthew 24 um, let me find it uh, Matthew 24 8 he says all these are the beginnings of sorrows and then he goes on chapter 9 uh, verse 9 he says then shall they deliver you upon Upon to be afflicted, and shall be and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for the name's sake, for his name's sake, or for my name's sake. I'm sorry, for my name's sake. And we'll go on to ten, and then shall many offend, and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate and leaven and many false prophets rise and shall deceive many and because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax cold be cold get or just become cold hearted but he shall endure but he shall endure until the end the same shall be saved and this is the gospel of the king kingdom shall he preach in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So I'm thinking that's like tribulations, the post-tribulation. You're still in the sorrows, but it's you're going to find tribulation and sorrow as well. I would call it a post-tribulation. And just uh, some key things to hit on, um, like a nine, they shall deliver you up to the affliction, 
up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. So when they talk when they're talking about when he when Jesus is talking about they, he's talking about uh, the lost. He's talking about uh, people that don't know God and uh, and it's just they're going to report you in they're going to give you a hard time you're going to be persecuted you might even die so I mean this is your job as a Christian your job is to spread the word your job is to lead people to God and uh, just do good works for God's glory. So, I mean, in all that's going on today, if you look outside your door, don't be blinded, because this is all going on. You know, we've heard, we've had earthquakes in diverse places, are all over the place now. Um, pestilence, we've had uh, I mean, flu, we've had uh, all kinds of diseases going around. Uh, you know, and and that's just going to keep on going. I mean, you got plot, false prophets. I mean, the Pope, Pope Francis, or whoever the Pope is now in the Catholic Church, uh, thinks he has the authority to change the Bible, change the wording in the Bible, and he doesn't. He he doesn't. He doesn't have any kind of authority to do anything unless God uh, and unless God actually has appointed him to do that and he has not he is just a human being folks you know the, the straight path to God is to his only begotten son Jesus Christ not the Pope the Pope is a man he puts his pants on one leg at a time and he is just that a man so the, I'm going to I'm going to add to this, but I'm going to text it at the bottom of this uh, podcast. Uh, th more thoughts on it as I go along, so you might want to, you know, come back and you know take a look, see any new updates happening. Um, but uh, I'm glad you had a chance to hear this. I I really uh, think that you should read chapter 24, all of it really, but we've only gone up to, say, uh, we got up to 14, verse 14, and then we'll get into the great tribulation, which is the abomination, uh, the abomination of desolation. So we'll talk more on that. Remember, this is all going to come before the rapture. So we're all going to get a big taste of tribulation before Jesus comes back. He also said that uh, it's in here in one of the verses, he says that he may, sh he, he may shorten the time for his people. Let me see that. Um, 24 22 and except for those except those days should be shortened there should should no flesh be saved but for elect's sake those days shall be shortened he's talking about his people he's talking about christians he's talking you gentiles jews his his family his children he's talking about so this is what this is going to be the end of this podcast. And bless you. And I hope you have a good day. Just really need to look dwell into the into the Bible. And start reading it. Start learning about what's going on around you. It has a great effect on what's going to happen later on. Well, God bless and have a good day.